Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. I am glad to be back with a new video tutorial. Today I will be creating a wedding frame. Uh, I will not be creating a frame because a frame I bought in IKEA, but I will be decorating it. I think it's a lovely uh, idea for a wedding gift, especially if you are not sure what to buy or, uh, you know, these days people prefer probably money than the gifts. But this is a very special gift. The couple can change the photo from time to time. And because you're doing it yourself, it's extra, extra unique. So I will show you how I'm going to decorate the frame and hopefully inspire you to try it as well. I'm using the papers from Sincerity uh, collection from Lemon Craft. It has um, mints, beige colors, lovely designs and lots of elements to cut out. I'm going to use the um, pad with the elements. There is a sheet with leaves. I'm going to cut out the leaves and uh, create two flower compositions on both sides of my um, of the place where the photo will be. So my frame is 25 by 25 centimeters. I have uh, cut three uh, smaller layers so each layer is like one centimeter smaller than the other and the the top layer it's um, dedicated to 13 by 18 centimeters photo of course depending on the photo you want to have in the frame you can have those layers bigger or smaller it doesn't matter um, what size they will be but just don't uh, create them very very big if you want to have some space for the uh, decorations because you need to remember that uh, it needs to go inside the frame Apart the leaves which uh, are fussy cut out of the paper collection, I have few die cuts, I have flowers which I made out of Famiran, some doilies which I will be cutting in half and using on both of uh, both sides of the photo area. and uh, also uh, I have some badges from Lemon Craft as well from the same collection and I'm going to use a lovely clock um, to finish off my composition. I also have like a die cut of an, like a net. <laughs> I will be using that as well to uh, fill the gaps in the floral composition. You could use a fabric, something which uh, what would add a little bit of texture to your, um, to your composition. A big surprise today, I won't be <laughs> splatting the project. <laughs> I almost wanted to use white acrylic paint, but then I thought, you know, I will do it differently this time. And actually, I like the idea that the, uh, the, this uh, project is so clean, so I want to keep it that way. I didn't even add glitter, so it was a big challenge for me, but no, I decided to keep it nice and clean.
I'm going to finish off the project with few little pearls and like I said I am going to keep it nice and clean. I didn't want to add too many elements. I want this um I want those uh, arrangements to be delicate the whole project because uh, the main element in that project should be a photo which of course will be added later. To assembly the frame you need to remove the uh, middle part, the inside of the frame. So then the first uh, what you will put inside will be a glass. My glass has still a protective film on both sides so I will not be adding it now because I want to show you the finished project. Then you put the frame uh, which goes inside your frame. This is the frame which will be between the glass and the back wall. Then you put your layout and then you close it with the back of the frame. And uh, it's, it's very easy to assemble, assemble and it gives you ta that dimension between, those, uh, be between the front and the back, which is uh, great. So this is it from me um, for today. I hope you like the video and please let me know if you will be creating similar project. I want to wish you all the best. Have a lovely creative day. Bye bye.